Hello, my name is Dr. Stephanie Cheney from Living Health Integrative Medicine, and today I want to review with you what exactly hemoglobin A1C is as a marker for diabetics. It's one of the markers that we use to determine uh, where you're at, how severe your diabetes is in the beginning of our program, but also one that we track regularly through our program every six to eight weeks to make sure that we're getting the improvement and the results that we're desiring. Hemoglobin A1C uh, is generally thought of as a three-month average of how well you're regulating or controlling your blood sugars. Specifically though, what it is, is a percentage of red blood cells that are damaged by blood sugar. You see, blood sugar in the blood actually causes a lot of stickiness, almost like barbecue sauce. And the sugar will stick to various proteins, including platelets and red blood cells. And in doing so, we cause a lot of damage to these cells. So essentially what we're measuring is a percentage of the red blood cells damage. So the, the actual marker is a percentage marker. A healthy hemoglobin A1C percentage is 5.7 or below. 5.7 to 6.4 is considered pre-diabetic. 6.4 or above is considered diabetic. And anything above 7 is generally considered something that requires medication to start controlling. The danger in having hemoglobin A1C go up is it does tell us that our blood is becoming thick and viscous and too sugary and more likely to cause irritation to the blood vessel lining as well as clogging small blood vessels uh, to the fingers and the feet. And this, of course, leads to something called neuropathy, where we can literally have the death and dying of the nerves in our extremities because of this thick, viscous, sticky, blood sugar-laden blood. So we actually track it a little more frequently than your regular doctor might because we are looking to reverse the diabetes and get the hemoglobin A1C down as quickly as possible uh, by natural means using diet and supplement therapy. Uh, so we measure it every roughly six to eight weeks. But we have seen improvements, dramatic improvements in hemoglobin A1C in as little as two to four weeks. Um, sometimes we've had patients come in and their hemoglobin A1C is in the nines and in a two-week period they're just getting some routine blood work with their endocrinologist or their medical doctor and they get their hemoglobin A1C checked and they're down in the sevens in just a few short weeks on our program. So although it's generally not tested but every three months because red blood cells on average live for three months so you're having a whole new cell turnover by that time we actually see dramatic improvements in hemoglobin A1C in a very short period of time. To learn more about how we do this and to see if you're a good candidate for our type 2 diabetes reversal program, simply call our office at 410-216-9180 to get information about our educational and informa informational seminars on type 2 diabetes reversal.